Hello friends, this is Imran. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can translate, move, rotate, rescale, mirror and duplicate any part in the scene. So let's say uh, right now we have this model and if you notice here, it is showing us the origin of overall environment. So this is actually our 000 uh, coordinate location. This is our origin. So here if you notice like red, green and blue line, it is showing us the three axes x y and z axis so uh, there are like two ways to move this object first of all when i click on the object you can notice this white dot highlighted and here you can see also this uh the selected tick is appeared uh got appeared so then after that if you notice this is a zero 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 uh position and the position of this model is right now you can see from here x y z the uh, coordinates you can read from here now I want to move from here to the 0 0 0 position so I can directly go to the position and here you can see the translate option translate also means move so once I click on it I can get these uh, all the areas I can move so uh, the same like this coordinate red green and blue in all these direction i can move the model easily so let's say i want to move this object from uh from this position to zero 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 i can change the coordinates x y z to zero zero and zero and since i have selected on the show preview so it is showing me the exact position it will be uh, uh exact position of the model after applying this value if i uncheck it it will not show me so it's i will recommend i should we should always keep it open and so we we will know like what are the changes we are making so it will give us the exact position of like after applying this value where the model will be and one more thing which we need to notice here is like if i tick on the cop make copy so what it will it will do it will keep the origin position of the model at the at the same position and the the zero 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 where we we are keeping the model right now moving the model it will create a copy of the origin model and keep it in the zero 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 uh, position same as that there is one more thing which we need to notice is that the x y z i have ticked uh, on all of these like x position y and z what it is doing if you notice right now the selection of the overall model is from this point if i move it to the middle point it will be somewhere here the middle of this uh, model let's say i'm moving it to x here z here and uh, x y z so now you can see the selection point is actually the center of the model but as we need to put here a uh, overall model to the zero 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 coordinate so i need to select the minimum ones and then I just need to ch change the coordinates X, Y and Z. Make sure you haven't selected on the make copy. So you cannot, uh, you, you uh, don't make the copy and you are just moving the original part. And then uh, click on the apply and OK. Then close. Then you can see like uh, here the model is actually placed on the 000, 000 coordinate there is one more thing like uh, for translation uh, for translate the shortcut is t you can directly press t and you can do the uh, the movements then now we will learn about the rotation there are two types of rotation the first is orbit or orbit rotation if you notice here right now i am clicking uh, the right button of the mouse and if you notice the circle a big circle appears that big circle is actually uh, rotating the model it's not rotating the model it is uh, it is a rotation of the orbit the overall environment you can notice that the cube is also rotating with that so it is giving us the uh, like we, we uh, like once i right click and ho press hold to the mouse and rotate it so we can like easily uh, check the model from anywhere you want but if you notice if i click 
the same button the right click from the mouse outside that circle let's say i click it here and now i rotate it so you will notice like it is rotating exactly in a fixed point and we can i can only move the orbit to the fix point but if i click inside the circle and hold and then move and drag this uh, mouse i can actually change the orbit of this uh, rotation so this is uh, this is uh, one kind of rotation of the orbit and now we are going to rotate the model let's say the model is placed like this now i want to like change the face from this direction to the other another one so what i can do i can simply the shortcut for this rotation is r or you can directly go to position and rotate so i i'm going with the shortcut i press r now if i want to move it to any of the direction let's say right now i want to move it to the x direction what i will do if i if i know like how much degree i need to rotate so that value i can write here so i will just uh, simply write the value in able snapping and then once i rotate it it will be like moving to 45 degree which is in able snapping and then i can move it to the same uh, rotation of the x axis now if you uh, if you notice the red line green uh, blue line and the green line it is showing all the axes it is it is it has the same color as x y z uh, axis so uh, this is how we usually uh, do, uh, do the rotation or you can simply rotate it like if you want to rotate in the x axis or y axis or z axis let's say here this is this blue line is showing us the z axis and i want to rotate it like this so i know that the uh, the blue axis is z i now i want to rotate it to 180 degree and then i just need to click on the apply button and it close it so i can see the model has been rotated now i'm pressing control z to undo now we will learn how we can rescale the model to rescale the model we need to go to position rescale you can see control plus r is the short short shortcut of the uh, rescale once you click on the rescale you have already selected the model now what you have to do uh, let's say right now the value of the model is 34 38 40 and now i want to change the change change the model size let's say i want to make it the like it should be 100 uh mm that is 10 cm uh tall model so what i will do i just change the coordinate to uh the resulting size to 100 mm that is 10 cm and i will click on the uniform scale so like it will be scaling uniformly right now uh once i click on it and then i change this z to 100 you can see here these x and y value uh, has been changed according to the z z value so it will not ruin the shape and then apply now you can notice that the size of this object is now here delta you can see it is 100 the value has been changed but let's say if i did not uh, click on the uh, i'm pressing the control r for the rescale and let's say i uncheck the uniform rescale and now i'm just changing the z direction the z value to 100 and then apply then you can see actually i have ruined the model so this is the main uh, difference the same as translate option or rotate option here we can also see the make copy so like the original model will be remain and the changes will be make in uh, will be made as a copy of the same model so again i am going to press control z to undo now let's uh, uh, learn about how we can copy any model and how we can duplicate let's say i want to make a copy of this model i can simply uh, do it with two ways i can click on the duplicate button the shortcut for it is uh, control plus d once i do it 
list then you can see like if i want to like make 100 of copies 10 copies you can see the uh, see that the uh, show preview you can see like 10 models will be placed like this you can change the spacing of it you can increase uh, like in z direction we i just i don't know i don't want any uh, model i just want to in y direction i want 10 models so you can keep all these things as per your requirement or like simply i just need one i can do it as well <clears throat> there is one more thing which we which we can do is uh, once i press the translate button move option and then i make copy and then i move this uh, part it will make a copy of the uh, same object same as that the command we have already uh, we are already in a same command and now as many time i click on the same button and same uh, i will do the movement it will be creating a copy until i uncheck it okay now we will learn about how to do mirror so uh, let make sure like you have uh, selected the objects let's say right now with by pressing the left click of the mouse and hold it and drag to select the two objects now i have selected two objects and now i'm going to press the mirror button you can see the shortcut for the mirror is Control plus m once you click on it then you will see like the y and z plane has been selected as a mirror option so this is our y and this is our uh, sorry this is our y and this is our z axis so, so you can see that this plane is actually uh, this is our uh, the mirror planning and it is actually mirror mirroring the object in this plane let's say if i select z and x axis so it will create a copy to this position let's do that you can see like uh, the preview of it already and once you select the plane you can simply uh, apply and then close so what it will do it will just mirror the object but let's say you don't need to change the you want to keep the original one and make the copy of the original parts so what you need to do uh, just select the parts and then go to mirror and make a copy then what it will do it will keep the model the original model as a uh, uh, to, to the same position and make the copy of the changes and then close now you can see i have two more object of the same and it has mirrored so friends this was the end of this lesson and now we will move forward to the other ones thank you if you have any kind of questions you can ask me directly in the comment section